Hey there, welcome back, Marius here. Let's talk about Icarus and how to make graphics work for you. So basically, best game graphics for this game. For those who are in rush, I will show you right away the settings. Those who are want to understand why we do this, I will give you all the information in the afterwards. So, uh, borderless, we sync off frame limits you don't want to limit. I will put it just for the videos, otherwise I will be stuttering, the video will be, uh, recording will be crashing. Uh, motion blur off, that's kind of obvious, but if you want, prefer, you can enable it. View distance, epic, post-processing medium, shadows high, shadow cascade one, textures epic, textures streaming pool size, leave it as it is. Um, Effects high, foliage epic, shadows low, analyzing low. Then the last ones are use simple building shadows on, disable lighting effects on, desolation on, volumetric clouds off, and disable <coughs> player light shadows on. Last but not least, of course, we have, if you have DLSS, you're blessed with good graphics card. Uh, go with quality settings. Other settings actually will make game blurry and sharpness, so it's cri cri crystal clear. Go with one full. And ray tracing off. That also disables the global, uh, global illumination, so that's it. These are the settings I advise to start from. If you have worse graphics card, of course, adjust them. I will show you the points where to start adjusting. But those who are in rush can go and make the game beautiful for them. And for those who want to understand why we do what we do, I will jump right in the game. And let me explain why these settings are the best. I claim to be best. You can be the judge. I will show you two pictures. One picture is uh, maxed out settings, absolutely best what game can offer and the uh, second one is this setting this is what i just showed you and the difference that is noticeable in a uh, trees a little bit but most 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 of the things are this is the scene this you will see this picture a lot this is where i take all my testings so this is the settings you just saw right now i need to go and share this view this is in a window so basically whenever you change the settings the game most of the settings will require you to restart the game so it took me a lot of restarts so you don't have it i will show you right away um so this is the game how it looks on absolutely epic maxed out ray tracing on everything beautiful isn't it so now let me switch to the video, uh, to the graphic settings I just showed you. So I, let me switch between them. I will already point out, look at the trees. There are a little bit different colorings. You see, this is the only noticeable difference between them. Max settings, my balanced. Maxed, my balanced. So if you're wondering why would you do that? In the corner, there's also a little number that says 124 frames per second. This says 72. So almost double the frames per second. That's how what you can get out of the game. So those who are crying that game is not balanced. Yes, as all the games has settings that adjusting by a little bit, you gain a lot. But to say it's not playable or all that, or you need to play on medium, absolutely not. Again, let me show you the proof. You can get exact, almost 99% exact quality with a lot of frames. So these are the settings I just showed you. Uh, I'm not to waste a lot of your time. I will just show you other images, for example. Uh, one of the things just straight out of the everything let me sh no 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 wrong 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 2.1 1.1 let me switch between those two images they are exactly the same the difference is one has ray tracing on another has ray tracing off there is no difference and the, the same is true whenever you i turned on other settings like higher 
and then switching between uh, 1.2, 3.3. Oh, for example, these these two images, uh, the shadow is changing because the time of the day is moving on, but there is no graphical difference. The only difference is you take a huge frame per second uh, hit as all other games, even if DLSS is on, which is on always, if you have it, blessed, you're blessed, so always run with that, of course. But all my testings prove that ray tracing in this game is not even visible. We are not talking about preferences. I like it, I don't like it. There is no difference, so always disable it. Simple as that. Of course, we are running on DirectX 12, where it's actually available. In DirectX 11, there is no difference. I run my best settings on one DirectX and another one. Both of them I can try out. There was no difference for me. Because we are disabling ray tracing anyways, and DLSS is available on both of them for my graphics card, or probably on your for your as well. So run whatever direct DirectX you want, I guess. I'm running with the latest because it's always the best. It's not the stable, but I had no issue whatsoever. Few crashes, but I believe they are in, in both DirectX. Anyways, so I, tr I tried to run uh, with shadows, shadows, um, low shadows, medium, shadows, high. So uh, there's a lot of things, reflections, off reflections on, for example, difference, only between two of them. So you see, how it changes but to be honest with reflections off it's still quite enjoyable so that's one of the settings you can turn on or off if you have older card uh what else yeah this this um sh not shadowy but um mist that goes over like a what it's called filter it comes from shadows not from effects, not from lightnings, not from what, whatever. Whenever you turn from medium to high, this effect kicks in. So that, that's that. Then, of course, what else I tested here? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is with cloud and without cloud. Minor difference, but uh, one thing I need to mention, when you are running the game, if you have played it or how it goes, you are mostly picking stuff up from the ground. It's, there is no board, bird hunting or such thing. So there's a, basically no moment in the gameplay where you are looking in the sky where you could notice there is a cloud or there is not a cloud. This is the only reason why I turn it on or off and I would advise to follow that as well. Uh, so that's one optimization option. Another would be the, the reflections on or off that's for your preference right and that's yeah i have already evening at the night uh, in in the game let me check if there was anything else i can explain i can explain in a little bit more uh, for example view distance you don't want oh okay i'm stuttering damn it game stop uh you don't want anything to pop up okay let me get back to character selection otherwise i can't record in the same time but uh where was i yeah you don't want any uh, anything to pop up so view distance is epic there's little to no compromises possible for for gamers okay post-processing uh one thing under here is ambient occlusion. You can't go with low, otherwise it, everything will look like shit. No point of going beyond medium. There's no difference, just performance hit. Shadows, uh, low and medium will be absolutely trash. Especially you will see that in the caves. You need to pass a cave test, that's how I call it. Whatever settings you choose when you have a nice scenery, Go and see how it looks in a morning, uh, when there's outside the morning, in a cave. Most cases, when you try to go with lower settings, will look absolutely trash in caves. You don't want that. So that's why you ha have to opt in with high shadows. If you go epic, there's just 
performance hit, no point of that. Uh, of course, saving here in Shadow Cascades, textures is not your graphical um, graphics card processing power, but how big of a textures it can load. Of course, match your uh, graphics card possibilities. If you have, I don't know, only four gigabytes, then of course adjust. But a rule for gamers as well as, as view distance, you try to go it maximum because it does not impact the frame rate. It basically, you always want to go with the highest possible setting, the highest textures. So that's that. Here changing uh, this pool size, I try to run higher because my card allows it. Actually, I had a weird glitches where the textures were changing when I approached object. object. I have, let's say, the striped stripes on the stone. When I approach, it changes to something else. And I like, so I turned it back to normal, to default. It's just, yeah, go with that. Uh, effects, under effects, this is reflections. And let me give you right away uh, information. There are four settings, but actually the settings, these effects should be on or off. Because when you have low or medium, the reflections on the water are turned off. When you have high or epic, they are on. There is no difference between those two and bottom two. It's basically, so I have, in this scenario, I have reflections on. If you want reflect, reflections off, go with low, right? So yeah, I need to restart to see anything of that. Foliage, similar as view distance. You don't want things to pop or actually to have flat ground. It will absolutely break immersion and look like shit. You have to go with all epic. There's no other way around. Uh, shading and anti-aliasing. That's anti-aliasing. We are disabling, so we have DLSS and shading. I am. There is no point of going beyond. The same goes for simple building shadows, disabling lights. Yes, we are disabling and disabling player lights. All of them are off. And volumetric cloud, I already explained, so you know, if you really, really want that cloud, it had, I guess, five to 10 frames per second hit, you can turn it on, but otherwise I would prefer to, to have it off. And yeah, bottom, of course. Uh, I tried performance balance. They are, they have a blurry outcome. I didn't like it. Quality, yeah. And of course, of course, those who don't have DLSS, I'm really, really, really sorry. This is absolutely game changing, like literally changing the games. So when you, if you don't have it, you will not have ray tracing at all. Then probably all the rest of the settings will be the same, but you then need to check analyzing what setting you can barely take and, and play. Because there's no point of having absolutely awesome textures and, and no one nothing popping if everything is jiggling by by analyzing on low right of course of course of course we have a lot of graphics card out there and not every are this not every one of them are the same so you need to adjust but these points these settings i showed are good good starting point okay and if that helps to improve your graphics or most importantly the frames per second that everyone is complaining because yeah that, that is a huge difference between epic and medium uh in looks and in in frame rates so i'm trying to give you the middle ground to have beautiful game and beautiful frame rates so yeah there will be more videos coming out from me for icarus because the game is quite enjoyable I will not go out with huge, awesome, you need to have it. Let's, I need to still engage with it a little bit more so I can bring you the best and worst out of it. So stay tuned and if you have questions, of course, I will try to answer all of them, any of them, just shoot me any language, to be honest, I've seen in in, in, in comment section. Feel free if your English is not your English. I will, of course, use translator to translate it. Um, but I will try to get the answer, uh, uh, whatever you are interested in explaining and helping your gaming exper experience. That's my main goal in this channel.
Right, guys, we'll meet in those other videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.